In the realm of the spirit, one of the things you should understand is that in the realm of the spirit, numbers is not an advantage. Age is not an advantage. How many you are does not matter in the realm of the spirit. One spirit can lock the heavens against the nation. One spirit can lock the heavens against a whole continent. One spirit. There are spirits when they come into an environment, they close the environment, they close everybody in that territory is at their mercy. So there is a category of spirits when they walk into the environment, everybody there is at their mercy. They don't care about your title. They don't care about your numbers. They don't care about your age. As they enter there, they are taking over. It doesn't matter. So if you are not so fortunate and you are in an environment and in that environment, there is a stubborn spirit, a wicked spirit and you are not anointed by God to deal with that spirit, you will live in close heavens for the rest of your life. Watch what happened here. Daniel was not just anybody. We are talking about a major prophet. One of the praying prophets in the Bible and one of the men in the Bible that withstood against the devil. He withstood against the gates of hell and everything that has to do with hell. But the Bible said one day, the prince of the kingdom of Persia is talking about a demon in the realm of the spirit that came and closed the heavens of Daniel for 21 days. Imagine Michael did not come to help him. What would have happened? There are many people living under closed heavens for more than 20 years. They are living under closed heavens for 30 years, 50 years, and they don't know. Hear me well. There are cities and there are nations that have lived under closed heavens for more than 300, 3,000 years. You, you have no idea. That city, nobody in that city prosper. I know a town. There's no educated man in that town. They are living under a closed heaven. And I also know a family. No man in that family speak English. So if their destiny helper can only speak English and go to that family, that family cannot be helped. Because nobody understands English. There is a closed heaven against that home. I know a family too. Nobody in that family is married. You cannot marry. These guys are living under closed heavens. So it is possible to live under a closed heaven. But until you discern what is against you. Hear me well. One of the signs that Daniel was a major prophet was that he knows what withstood the prayer. He knows how many people pray and did not get the answer and know why they've not gotten the answer. Let me see your hand. You don't know. You are praying, you are not getting the answer yet. You cannot tell why you are not getting the answer. You have prayed and prayed and prayed. You don't know why. For a man to discern and know the type of demon that have withstood the answer from the heaviness, it is a sign that the man is spiritual. Number two, it is also a sign that that man is really a prophet. And he knows God. He knows spiritual warfare. Because sometimes the best way to deal with a spirit is to know what is behind. Or the best way to deal with a problem is to know the spirit behind that problem. If only you can tell the spirit behind your problem. You can easily solve it. It's so easy to solve it. If you are able to tell, this is what is behind my problem, you can easily solve it. He said, the prince of Persia, he was told the answer for 20 and one days. But Michael, so which means he knows the proceedings and then the procedure of whatever was happening. How Michael left and how Michael helped him. He said, Michael came to help me and now I have come. This is a prophet. Now I have what? Come. He knows that the prayer was not answered. It was not answered. And when Michael appeared in the scene, he knows that there was an answer to the prayer. That is why you should understand that in the realm of the spirit, it is not about title. It's not about name. It's not about age. It's not about all these things. What actually matter in the realm of the spirit is stature and posture. Demons don't care about how old you are. You can be act left, right, center bishop. They don't care. They will deal with you. They don't care. You can be 10,000. They don't care. You can be 20,000. They don't care. You can be 100 million. They don't care. What they fear is stature. What they fear is posture. How? How is that? man so what you need to gain is to gain stature we don't gain stature and posture in the spirit realm to command results in that realm as a matter of fact you have shared in the spirit you have shared if you understand spiritual things you will understand that as a believer the bible said 
to his angels he made spirit and his ministers flames of fire so you are a flame of fire in the spirit realm the actual problem is the manifestation i told you the last time what the devil is fighting is not the spiritual you he's fighting the way that must become flesh when you see satan angry when you see satan working in and out against a man know that he don't want you to manifest that which the lord has spoken about you on earth he don't want you to fulfill your assignment the devil don't come against you because he feel like, no he's coming after you because he don't want you to manifest your purpose your assignment you must not complete that assignment so he's doing everything to stop you and hear me well when the lord appear you will not be missing and when the lord is coming to visit you do you know that there is something called heavenly inspection where god decides to inspect the assignment he has given to his people god inspect every day there is an inspection he inspect to see how far have you gone the bible said in the cool of the day every day god will walk into the garden of Eden. but there was a faithful day when the lord entered the garden of Eden. the bible said adam was nowhere to be found and the lord said adam where are you the last time i told you it was not a question of physical positioning but it was what spiritual positioning when the lord entered the garden of Eden, he was entering to inspect what is happening but he came and discovered that the scepter of adam was taken Taken from him. Somebody was on the throne. A different man was on the throne. And that man on the throne, when God saw that this man is here, that's not the man I assigned. He said, Where are you? The guy said, I am naked. The Lord said, Who told you you are naked? Because that's not the question I'm asking you. Who told you you are naked? Who told you you are naked? You know, sometimes there are many people who ask me questions like, I don't know why I was born into this family. I was born here, born here, born here. Do you know why you are in Bolgatanga? Because God knows that you can be in Bolgatanga and survive. You were created here for a purpose. Are you here? Men of stature don't run away from their assignment. I know many people who say God called them to Accra. Three years later, they are in Kumasi. Three years later, Tamale. Three years later, Bolgatanga. They are roaming from one place to another place. They don't even know where they are called to. Men of stature don't leave their assignment. They don't leave their throne. They don't leave their posting place. When God visits, he finds you. If not, your position will be vacant. There is nobody there. Adam, where are you? Why? The position was vacant another man has taken over another man has taken the place of adam hear me well your position of assignment will not be vacant in life whatever the lord asks you to do you will do it you are fulfilling that there are many people here who don't understand the operations of god but god is about to do something new in your life it's about to do something new